Raisin, he's going straight in, but he's clumping his troops a lot. And he really needs to focus these uh, these troops here. He doesn't have any upgraded. as that's got no upgraded units. Those musketeers are just going to get shot down. Hey YouTube, it's your boy Widgie here, coming in with some more Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition. And I've got a great sort of entry level, strong opening you can do with the United States. So if you've always been thinking, I really want to give this Civ a go, I've never really played them, they're a little bit daunting. Give this a go because the players that I am casting on here are around 1250, 1280 ELO, something like that. So if you are a beginner or if you're an intermediate player, I suggest you give this a go because it's a nice, strong, simple build order, not too confusing. And after casting this game on my stream, I am definitely going to give this a go at some point in the near future. So let me know what you think in the comments below if anything could be changed. And if you do give it a go and you have a success, make sure to drop a like and let me know, of course. All right, let's do this. Kind of things the states are doing. This is around my sort of level, so they're just over 1200 ELO. I'd really love to see what they actually get up to, what kind of strats uh, the USA does. The French... You know, the French can do many a strat, you know, they're, they're kind of a crazy civilization. They're, I wouldn't say they're one of the most basic. I, I sort of have this argument with a lot of people. A lot of people will always try and recommend the French to start playing if you're new to the game. I honestly don't believe that's the best Civ to start with because they are so versatile and you can do so much with them that it can be quite daunting to try and figure out what the best thing is to do with them. So I sort of suggest playing other civs like the Ottomans, where you don't have to worry about creating villages, and there are sort of maybe two well-known strategies that you can try and to, to get an idea of the civilization, for example. I would say Brits are probably a little bit easier, but once again, it requires a lot of macro. So it's difficult, difficult to say. We do see the good old... French immigrants opening up, though, which is the two CDBs, and that's something that's been uh, lurking around for a long, long time. Let's have a look at the 1v1 deck here. So we do see um, three sort of immigrant cards straight up. They are good because they don't have fancy bonuses, and you, and all you learn with France, you can use all things you learn to other civs. With Otto and Brits, you cannot. True, but you've also got to bear in mind the how easy it is to learn. You've got to, you've got to bear in mind how quickly someone can learn that. And I guess that's based on how much experience somebody has of playing RTS games. But if you're very new to RTS games, I wouldn't suggest playing French. I would start with something quite simple. We don't have to worry about too much. I would suggest the Ottomans. And then once you get an idea of how the game plays, you can then move on to something else. I guess there's always going to be that argument, isn't there? But that's my personal opinion. So uh, Just Smile here, uh, he is going with the uh, two CDBs, which is, a, uh, actually, no, it's three CDBs, isn't it? A, a great, great card here. Uh, as you as you can see here, it also provides um, hit point upgrades to, to all the villagers, which is nuts. I never knew that did that as well. Is that new? Yeah, 35% HP and also their range damage as well. I mean, th yeah, this is a go-to card. You, you have to get this card every time, surely. Personal opinion not allowed here. <laughs> Let's have a look at the French opponent here, uh, Ezat. What's Ezat doing? So Ezat is going for a... Is he, he's going for a TP start rather than a market start. Okay. And let's have a look at his deck. Standard 1v1 deck. Yeah, this is something more standard. You've got the, the classic uh, 4 CDB, 600 wood, 700 wood. Uh, don't normally see the two amounts of gold here, but okay. And we've got the 8 crossbow. That's always a good card to have. And a few upgrades. And spice trade. Okay. Uh, age 3, very interesting to see all three resource cards here. I'm not too sure whether that's the best thing to go. We don't see any um, any cav shipments in Age 3. We do see that... Is the covered wagon necessary? I don't think it is. I don't know. And obviously two factories in Age 4. Very sort of standard. Okay, let's go back to uh, Just Smile. I want to focus on Just Smile a little bit here because he's now going for the Irish immigrants. So this is an interesting one because you get two settlers and then an extra two after five minutes. So why is he doing this? He's only going to get two settlers. This is not a good card to go for first. I would probably wait until, yeah, until 10 minutes have passed. Yeah, that was a real, that was a blunder there. He's only getting two villagers from that. I don't think that's worth it. Um, Ideally, like a lot of people will wait maybe for uh, just after 10 minutes so that you get six settlers with that card. You usually send it at 4 minutes 30. Yeah, so you can... Okay, so you can get four villagers. Okay, yeah. 
Okay. I don't know. I've, I've seen some people send it a bit later so they get six settlers, but I don't know. I guess I guess you could do it at four settlers, I guess, since it gives just as much value as a bank. Hello. Fair enough. Military wagon has now popped. I didn't even see what he went for. Um, Virginia. Okay, he went for the Virginia. Yeah, this is a great new card, the Virginia plan, giving you two shipments. So basically, this is a card that gives you an extra shipment. It's kind of crazy. It gives you nothing but just two shipments. It just adds two shipments immediately which is kind of nice. And we do see the Hamilton economics now going up, which is a one where basically everything is free in your market, but it takes longer. Uh, the market buy factor improves market buy rates and technologies are free. But how long does it take to get these techs in? Does it, does it take a lot longer? I'm not too sure. We do see a couple of interesting cards here though. We do see this advanced saloon where it supports population and can be constructed in the exploration age. We do see the Sheriff here, which increases the hero significantly. And now we do see... Actually, it looks like it's it looks like it's the same rate. I remember the Hamilton Economics. It used to take longer to get these cards. It used to take ages. Now it looks like you're getting these upgrades for free so quickly here. And we see five regulars opening up. He's gone for a double barracks as well. He hasn't gone for any wood shipment, so he's solely got that from just chopping wood. And we can see now that he's got what is your five regulars out, and he, he looks like he wants to stay in age two here. I mean, going for the double barracks. He hasn't gone for the classic sort of um, the Spanish immigrant card where you put the outpost on and go FF. It looks like he's playing solely in age two here, and we can see now that as that is coming down, he's put a forward barracks out, and he's going with a good old eight crossbow musketeer timing and he looks like he is potentially i don't know if he's going to be staying in the age he's gone 700 coin already is he going to be aging up or is he going to be staying in age two we're not too sure just smile here now going for the virginia plan i'm going to see what his plan is he's going to be getting into the barracks here bit of pressure did not manage to uh secure a veal there so just needs to be a little bit careful here but as long as he can um get as to dance around the tc he should be okay, but he needs to be careful with his veils here because his veils are going to get caught off. This is really bad. He, he's, he's either got to make a decision here. He's making a decision to stand his ground, and he's got the Minutemen have come out now. Perfect timing for them to come out to deal with them. Beautiful unit. Look how fast they are. They seem to be fast. They're only actually four, but they seem to be fast. Crossbowmen are really slow. Got to remember that. They're a really slow-moving unit. So more musks to try and reinforce Ezat here, but a great sort of Minutemen, Minutemen timing or Minuteman timing from Ezat there to deal with any issues. And we do see now that the score is in the favor of the US. So really, really nicely done here. This is an interesting build. It's quite a straightforward, simple build. Nothing crazy. Just go with two barracks. He's getting the 700 wood. I'm, I'm probably that's going to be for getting some houses here. I don't know whether or not going a good old sort of fast fortress is better for the States because of the Gatling guns. But, you know, We'll see. I think go Virginia Assembly is the next card, right? If he wants to get in the next stage, I would go Virginia Assembly here. I don't know what he's going to go, whether he's going to go maybe uh, the state militia. Whether he's going to stay in age two, I don't know. But he is getting all of those upgrades here from the, from the market. A great card, the Hamilton Economics. What a card. Um, eight state militia, yeah, he's going for the eight state militia. He's, he is staying in age two for now, and we do see some more fighting here. I think, yeah, Just Smile needs to back off here. There's just too much. We do see a couple of militiamen coming up to assist from the TC, and unfortunately, not going to get a huge amount of value if he stands around. They're going to be whittling down to one HP, and if we have a look at um, Ezat's situation here, looking really good to get up into age three. I think he's, he's, he's in a better position here. He's done a great job with going ahead and getting double gold shipments. So he's got enough to create units and he's got enough to put some aside to get into age three. So really nice job there. And that is exactly what he is doing. He's going to be going for the Exile Prince getting up quickly. And we're going to start to see some crazy age three cards, maybe two Falconets coming on the way. Who the hell knows? And let's have a look at Just Smile. Looks like he is, he is comfortably staying in age two. But look at this mass at nine minutes though, guys. I mean, these Minutemen do not reduce in HP. They do 26 damage. And uh, and now he's putting the forward flag out and he's going to be able to secure this. This is going to be a really good um, amount of map control here, taking this down. What an absolute... Uh, he's going to lose these Musketeers if he doesn't get them out as well. 
And uh, the Minutemen uh, only doing five siege. They don't do a great amount of siege. But, I mean, the regulars do a good old 84 siege there. Very nice. It looks like he's going for more regulars. And, yeah, I'm liking this already. Really eco-heavy states here. I, I never thought they were this uh, economically heavy. But I guess going with the Hamilton economics really makes that happen. And, and it's a nice sort of standard opening, like a double racks. I wonder if you could maybe go a stables and do something with some with some hustle something maybe i don't know but double racks very nice and 700 coin on the way so are we going to be seeing potential age up here the long rifles is a great great card as well because it also improves the minutemen as well and you can see here you can they, he can call minutemen again i think you can call them from uh, outposts as well but these Minutemen are really nice because they don't actually reduce. Their HP doesn't reduce. And it's only 150 food, 150 gold. And now we see the mass moving out here. 48 units strong. And he's got to be careful here. As I, if He doesn't want to be caught off guard here. Um, is that now going for the two Falks, as I suggested? But yeah, he's, he's going to get really caught out here with those with those crossbowmen. He needs to be careful because there's not much left of him now. And now, you know, just smile in a perfect position to push the base in age two. Um, but he's in a fantastic position now to get into age three. He's ready to go. And there he is. He's had a really favorable engagement. The two CDBs out here, that is, that's clumsy. Losing two CDBs in the middle of the map. And he's going to take this treasure. As I say, guys, make sure to take your treasure. Look at that, 190 XP. That's going to easily get him his next shipment. And he's moving forward now. And he's, he's going to be getting, he's going to be aging up with the New Hampshire. The New Hampshire, I think, is one of the, one of the, major ones and he's now going to be going for dutch immigrants which is interesting why, why would you do that yeah it enables you to establish a bank is that worth it is it worth it going for that though i don't know i i i would definitely wait until you're in age three and i would then either get the the united states army yeah he, he hasn't got any gatlin either he hasn't got the gatlin card he's seriously missing the gatlin card he needs that hey joy how you doing man welcome welcome dude it's a pleasure to see you on the stream again. Yeah, I, I, I'm I, very baffled why he hasn't got the Gatling gun. But he needs to be careful here because these two founts can do quite a bit of damage. But he is very brazen. He's going straight in, but he's clumping his troops a lot. And he really needs to focus these uh, these troops here. He doesn't have any upgraded. that has got no upgraded units. Those musketeers are just going to get shot down. The sheer number of quantity of troops is going to make it possible for Just Smile. And what a waste of two Falks. And, you know, now Just Smile is in a really good position. But he did waste quite a few troops there, just tanking those Falconet shots. And we do see the age up coming in for New Hampshire. And just simply more regulars are going to be coming out. And I don't agree with going the Dutch immigrants there. Uh, I probably would have just waited and gone age three and then probably got like continental rangers um, or gone for, sorry, gone for the United States Army. I would have gone for that, definitely, as a, as a next card. I, I'd go United States Army. It's probably the, the next thing that I would go and then focus on getting his upgrades. Why is he going for Junior General Assembly? Surely, yeah, he should have gone for that before he aged up, I think. He should have definitely gone for that so he got an H3 quicker. What's he going for now? He's going for the New Hampshire manufacturing. He's getting a factory down. Okay. Yeah, I mean, he's got the two Napoleon guns that he could have he could have got. I don't know how good they are. But I think he definitely should have the Gatling card in here because that's a brilliant card. And um, he should... Yeah, I don't know. Hey, would you enjoy my last game? Hey, you would enjoy my last game much more. Okay, well, maybe we might be able to see it on the list after this game, but we'll, we shall see. I think the States are in a pretty good position here. However, I think the Just Smile has made a few interesting decisions that I probably wouldn't make. And I think he's missing a few key cards in H3. I think he definitely needs some sort of units in H3. I don't think you really need... I mean, the Fort is quite a good card. I, I just always against the Fort card. I don't know why. Um... I think he should have gone for the Virginia Assembly before he aged up so he could maybe age up quicker, potentially. I don't know whether that would be worth it. He went for Dutch immigrants just recently. I don't think he he, he should have gone that, to be to be honest. He's going for he's building a meeting house, which is basically a church. Because of the time zone, you usually stream when I'm sleeping. Oh, that's fair enough. Whereabouts whereabouts are you, Joy? Where do you live? Is it in Asia somewhere? 
I assume it's an Asian country somewhere. Tremble, hey, human. thank you for the follow. Uh, is it a Gason? A, a Gason Zhu? That's a very strange name, but, but thank you very much for the follow, man. Thank you for the support. Welcome to the firm. Come on in. Don't be shy. Now, we do see uh, further two Falks now from Ezat. We haven't been looking at what Ezat's really been doing here. I think he's gone for the 1,000 gold, and then he's, he's built he's built two Falks, and he's built a wall here with around his TC. And, yeah, he, he just trained two more Falks, and now he's pushing forward. He, he still hasn't upgraded his Musketeers, um, but he does have a couple of Vet Skirms, but he hasn't upgraded his Musketeers. And I don't think this is this is not the best for him here because we're going to see how good the Napoleon guns are because they are coming out. And we do see some sharpshooters. Now, guys, let me know. Are sharpshooters actually viable now? Are they good? Are they a good card? They don't really cost a lot of food. Are, are they a good card? Are they decent? Because he is absolutely training a ton of them. And here they come. Uh, the sharpshooters have a pretty impressive range of 23. Uh, a way higher range than... Um, the, the skirms. Yeah, their range is insane. 23 range. That's that's crazy. Okay, so maybe they are worth it then. Now here we go, guys. The two Falks going to do a great job. He needs to get those Napoleon guns in here. 75 damage that they do. And let's see what they're going to be capable of here. They've got quite a high movement speed. And um, yeah, he needs to really get them stuck in. He's going to be firing on the Falconet instead. More sharpshooters coming out. And now these Napoleon guns are going to be able to deal with it. He needs to be careful not to lose them, but he's done a brilliant job. Look how many sharpshooters he's got. Absolutely clearing up all of his troops here. What a great job from the States player. Probably could have played it a little bit better with the micro, but doing a great job nonetheless. And I honestly would probably go the Continental Rangers now if I was him. He's going for a thousand wood. Okay. I don't know why. I mean, maybe he's getting a couple of TCs. Maybe... He seems to have quite a lot of wood coming in from his factory, though. So, no, he's actually got coin from the factory. I would put the factory on wood. I wouldn't bother with a thousand wood. I would go with the Continental Rangers if I was him. Joy throwing the G, calling the GG here. Yeah, most likely GG. Uh, as that's played an interesting game, I think he threw away his two Falconets when he got into H3 too much. Um, and he didn't have his musks upgraded. That was another issue. He had a lot of musks and they were still basic. Um, and now yes. looks like he... I mean, he has got a lot of skirms here. So if he if he can get Cav together, if he can pull together some Cav, it, it could work. I mean, he's got three Falconets, which would do quite a bit of damage. American snipers have a range of 30. Thank you very much, Turden. Oh, look at this. He's found this TC. How the hell did he find that? That was very suspect. He just, he just walked across here and just knew it was here. Maybe, maybe uh, he spied it somehow. That's uh, very interesting. He actually hasn't even scouted his base, which is kind of... I wouldn't recommend that, guys. I would always recommend... Oh, that's poor. The CDB, they're getting that little pop shot off, de defeating the uh, Napoleon gun there. That was clumsy. Here we go, though. So we do have some more Falks. He needs to be careful because these sharpshooters will get shredded by the Falks. But the sharpshooters have what such a good range, range, they can probably keep out of the range of the Falks. Yes. We've got the uh, veteran regulars coming in now as well. I think I've played Just Smile before. I think I've played him. Yeah, their range is is 26. So it will catch them, obviously. If French mix some Curacao, it would be different. Yeah, he's not. he needs to get some Cav. I mean, the Falks are great because he's got primarily light infantry. But... Yeah, we can see now that he's reacting well. He's going for the Colves. And he's got all of that wood that I don't think he needed. I don't think he needed the 1,000 wood shipment. I think he should have gone for a, uh, an upgrade on the troops. And we can see now, we do see Ezat pushing in. He's going to try and see what he can do here. I mean, he's, he's doing a good job picking a couple of hills off here and there. Four Falconets coming in. That is nothing to be, uh, to be sneezed at. And we do see now the 1,000 food coming in. For, he's got so many vills. I don't know whether he needs a thousand food. I think he could probably maybe go for um, the team ranged infantry. Why has he got that? Is that, a, is that the right one to get? Team ranged infantry? Probably. Should go for that. But he is moving straight in. He needs to be really careful here because he's, he's putting himself in a precarious situation. But the States uh, Just Smile does not have any cavalry here. So he needs to be careful. But look how many sharpshooters he's got at the back there with their insane range. And there it is. As that calls the GG with the Colves doing a great job. Brilliant. What a game.
Yes, so if we could sort of analyze this game, let's analyze this game a little bit because I mean these sharpshooters, man, I'm definitely gonna be getting sharpshooters over the uh, over the state militia. I, I guess it I guess it sort of depends. I guess it's sort of depends on the situation. But I mean these sharpshooters, look at them with their little top hats. They look quite Mexican style, don't they? With their little frills around there. They look kind of crazy, but I mean is is a sharpshooter better than going for militia? I mean, it's so gold heavy, though, going like sharpshooter with regulars. I still think state militia is probably the best bet. With with um, with the regulars. I don't know. I don't know. Let me let me know. Militia versus skirms and sharpshooter versus muskoon, I think. All right. OK. Militia versus the skirm. Do you think that's a better trade? Probably. Yeah. I mean, they've got. But the sharpshooters do have an even higher resistance. I mean, the skirms here only have 30%, but the sharpshooters have 40%. And they have a, a, a longer range as well. So I don't know. I, I don't know when you would decide either to go militia or sharpshooter. But an interesting play here. All I would say for uh, militia get plus 30 HP too when you have the mass. Yeah, that is true. That is true. What I would say here for Ezra, I think he failed a little bit with his Falks. I think he lost them too easily. And he didn't transition into Cav. You know, being French, like, you've got to go for some Cav. Especially if he's rocking, like, this many sharpshooters at the back. You get Curacers in here with your Skirms, you're going to be looking great. You know, I think that was one of the main issues. I think also, uh, Just Smile here could have gone with a little bit of Cav maybe as well. But he just decided to go the culverins to try and deal with the enemy artillery. He could have gone for some cav as well. But, yeah. Turden says, I'm going to go sleep right now because I have to go to school tomorrow. So thank you again. Have a good stream. Everyone have a good time. Turden, thank you very much, man. Thank you very much for your support. Have a good evening and good night. And I'll catch you in the next one. So, yeah. Very interesting game. Really enjoyed it. It wasn't the standard sort of FF that we see with uh, USA where we go for the Spanish immigrants. He went just more for a very basic, standard, sort of heavy eco start. Double racks. Chopped for double racks, which is which is great. And um, yeah, definitely one to remember.